So there's a lot of things going on right now, and a lot of things that people are getting very, very upset about, and it's so fascinating to hear about because... <laughs> Where do I begin? <laughs> There's just a list of all these things people are getting upset about. Um, Mr. Potato Head going gender neutral, uh, the Dr. Seuss books that are no longer being published, Gen Z going up against Eminem to cancel him. <laughs> like, and hearing about these things I think this would make for a great commentary video, but sometimes when I go over my thoughts about these things, they can be summed up really, really fast. Um, the Mr. Potato Head thing, it's so funny that people are upset about a toy that they haven't played with or thought about for years of their life, but the second that they hear that they are going gender neutral, all of a sudden, they have to get so mad about it. It's like, when's the last time you played with a potato head? When's the last time you even thought about a potato head? When? Who cares that they're changing it, okay? How is it bothering your life? <laughs> Let them go gender neutral, who cares? The Dr. Seuss books, um, yeah, they do have racial undertones, and yeah, there's some words in those books. There's six of them that they're pulling back. Six out of how many Dr. Seuss books that are published, okay? <laughs> And like, you know, with the publishers, they could have just simply put a disclaimer, changed the imagery, changed the wordings, or I don't know, it's just, just whatever. Let them pull the books. There's so many other books. They're not even the big books they're pulling out. We still got green eggs and ham, guys. We still got the Lorax, the cat in the hat, and Gen Z wanting to cancel Eminem. Do you know what happens to people that try to go against Eminem? He kills them with words. <sighs> but there's something else going on that's really, really driving me insane. And the reason I'm making this video is because I feel like I actually bring something to the discussion to actually make some interesting points about it. Okay, so... <sighs> Here we go. The sequel to Space Jam is being made, right? Okay, some of you already know where this is going. Okay. So, Space Jam is Loon... <laughs> With you people know what Space Jam is. Space Jam is a movie made because of a commercial. They literally filmed a commercial with Bugs Bunny and Michael Jordan playing basketball to advertise his freaking shoes. And then they thought, let's make that into a movie. That's what Space Jam is. Okay? Looney Tunes playing basketball with an NBA star. That's the movie. <laughs> Why am I making this video? They're making a sequel to Space Jam with LeBron James being the NBA star that the Looney Tunes are gonna play basketball with. Okay, you wanna know what people have wrong with this movie? Why people are upset about this movie? There is a certain Looney Tune that is not going to make it into the film. Pepe Le Pew. The, put him on screen. This skunk. People are upset that this skunk is not going to make it into the movie. Now my stance on this whole thing is not the fact that Pepe Le Pew is being cancelled from the movie. I am mad that people have a problem with Pepe Le Pew being cancelled from the movie. <laughs> okay? This can get into some uncomfortable waters for some people, so just disclaimer there. So Pepe Le Pew's character in the Looney Tunes, all of his sketches and cartoons involve him pursuing a cat that has no interest in him whatsoever. And Pepe Le Pew pursues this cat because he's very romantically interested. So, yeah. Would you want to watch a cartoon that has something like that now? No, it's very uncomfortable. So already, yeah, there's a bit of a red flag with this character. And the thing is, what is really annoying about this whole thing for me anyways, is that Pepe Le Pew is not even a really big Looney Tunes character, okay? That 
it doesn't make sense for people to get this pissed off that this character is not making the movie. It doesn't make any sense. When I think of the Looney Tunes, when I think of what characters that need to be in the Space Jam movie, because it's not Space Jam if you don't have the Looney Tunes, you need Bugs Bunny, Elmer Fudd, Daffy Duck, Taz, Marvin the Martian Manhunter, Yo Samity Sam, that rooster that's like, I said, I said, I said, y'all. You need Granny, you need Tweety, you need Sylvester, you need, those are the characters. Pepe Le Pew is not a famous Looney Tunes character. He's not. He's not necessary. So my point is, of all the characters to get upset about not making it into Space Jam 2, why? Why are we so worried about Pepe Le Pew, the freaking skunk, not making it into the movie? He's not a key player. In the first, in the first Space Jam movie, he was in there for probably not even 10 seconds, and the whole joke was that he was a skunk that smelled bad. Now, you could argue that for the sequel, they could just bring him in to do the stupid joke and acknowledge he's a skunk, and not bring up anything about how that he did these weird sketches and the thing with the cat that just... <sighs> you could do that, you know? But at the same time, if they do that, that's 10 seconds of the movie to do one stupid joke. Like, what are we gonna miss? Why are we shedding tears that this character is not making the movie? It's not gonna change the overall product. If freaking Wile E. Coyote didn't make it in the movie, that would make sense, because he's one of the biggest freaking Looney Tunes characters, and you're upset over the skunk? That chased the cat that was not having any of it? The freaking Wile E. Coyote thing with Roadrunner makes more sense because he's trying to chase the bird to eat it, but the bird is so clever and fast and smart and there's a lot of slapstick, but the freaking skunk and the cat, the freaking cat, it's just, un it's just the most uncomfortable watch. And you're upset that he's not in the movie. He's not even gonna be in the movie. He's not an important character. And what's interesting is that I found this one article that said, and allegedly, I don't know if it's factual, but allegedly, they had thoughts on bringing the skunk into the movie to acknowledge and make a comment about consent. And that would have been great if they had just done that, you know? of all the characters to be upset about being cut from the movie, this one? We're gonna get mad about this one? He's... It's just... It's just who cares? I'm not gonna shed a tear that one character, one lesser Looney Tune, is not gonna be in the Looney Tune basketball movie. <laughs> It just makes me so mad. <sighs> One more thing I want to add to the Mr. Potato Head gender neutral discussion. Um, guys, it's a toy. <laughs> Mr., Mrs., anything in between, let it be, okay? It's a toy. Potato Head, okay? It's not, it's not hard. Just Potato Head. <laughs>